Hello and good evening everyone and welcome to today's webinar session brought to you by Siksha Study Abroad and Stainless University School of Management and Innovation Germany. Student, this is an informative session about the programs that are being offered by the university to all international students. Please make the most of the, uh, out of this uh, session. And before we move further, I would like to introduce our presenters from the university. So we have Mr. Diego. He is the chief marketing officer at the university. And our second presenter is Mr. Siddhardhan Ravichandran. He is the international partnerships. Uh, he's at the international partnerships department at the university. Student, an important note for all of you. If you want to ask questions to our presenters, I will request you to please post your questions in the question section. We will take all the questions at the end of the session. If you wish to ask questions directly to them, I will request you to please click on the raise hand tab. Siksha will unmute you and you can ask your questions directly to them. I will now request uh, Diego to please start with the session. Thank you. All right. Hello, everyone. Uh, thank you, Lakshmi and the uh, Siksha team for this uh, moment to present uh, our university, Steinbeck University School of Management and Innovation. And as you can see here, our slogan is that we turn your dreams into career success in Germany. And in the next few minutes, you will see why we are very career success oriented. And we hope that uh, with our presentation, you will see the reasons of this. Uh, like uh, Lakshmi already mentioned, uh, together with me, uh, we have Sid Ravichandran, our International Missions Manager. He is also ready to answer any questions you have at the end of this presentation. So let me start by uh, talking a little bit about why Germany and why now is a good time to come to Germany to study. Well, as you know, Germany has uh, several advantages, and I know that's uh, probably some of the reasons why you are here today. It's, we have a very safe country. There are plenty of job opportunities. It's a very strong economy. And despite uh, COVID-19 and all the issues uh, that the world has gone through in the past two years, we still have a very strong economy. And uh, there are a lot of job opportunities here in the country. And one of the most uh, advantageous things that Germany offers to international students is that you get an 18-month work permit after graduation, as long as you graduate from an accredited university like Steinbeis SMI. We are located in Berlin, and Berlin also offers several advantages because it's a very international city. It's uh, open to everyone. I mean, you can uh, here live and work in English in most, most cases. We also have a wide culture and entertainment offer. And I think most important of all is that it's the startup capital of Germany, right? This means that every year we have new companies being created. A lot of those companies are led by young people, by international people. So that means that most of, most of the time in the startup companies, the usual language you hear is English. And that's a huge advantage for international students who want to have their first professional experience in Berlin. And why now is the time to come to Germany? Well, there are three important reasons and uh, two of them just happened this week. So it, you're at the right moment. So the first, like I said, Germany offers an 18 month post-study work visa. That means once you graduate from our pr program from uh, Steinbeis SMI, you can stay 18 months in Germany working full time, no questions asked. You can also do something else if you want. You can travel around, you can learn German, et cetera, right? But you have 18 month post-study work visa. This is not something that most countries offer. The two other reasons is that this week, this past week, and you can see here uh, the dates and the, the 11th of February, the January and the 12th of January, we had two important announcements. First, there was a big announcement by Robert Habeck, who is our current vice chancellor of Germany. He's also the foreign minister of economic affairs. And he mentioned Germany needs greater immigration to avoid labor shortages. Uh, he was talking about missing right now 300,000 talented people. And he thinks that in the next months, we will have a need for over 1 million workers that we don't have at the moment, right? So this is a huge advantage for talented people like yourself that acquire a German degree, there are plenty of job opportunities afterwards. There's also something called the EU Blue Card, right? The EU Blue Card gives you the possibility of staying in Germany longer, having a residence permit, and also working around the European Union, so you will have more mobility. Uh, usually in order to acquire the European Union Blue Card, you would have to have a salary of 56,000 euros, which is 
uh, let's say it's it's a salary that maybe in the beginning it's not easy to 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 reach, right? But in a, with a couple of years, yes. The huge advantage and the big news right now is that Germany has lowered this salary requirement to forty three thousand, right? Especially for the areas of engineering and computer science. So that means now it's easier to get a permanent residence permit in Germany. And this happened on the 12th of January, so only last week. So this is a huge, huge moment. Now it's the time to come here. Why would you come to Steinbeis SMI, right? Because there are several options here in Germany. Why would you choose us? Well, let me give you five reasons that I think they're very important and that will help you make the right decision. The first thing is that Steinbeis has been around for many years in Germany. We're uh, an institution, we're part of the Steinbeis Foundation. The Steinbeis Foundation has been around for 150 years. So that means that we're very well known in the, here in the country. Most uh, companies have heard of Steinbeis and this gives you an extra quality seal once you have a Steinbeis SMI diploma. Uh, we're experts at putting theory into practice. The gentleman that you see here on the, on the presentation is Ferdinand von Steinbeis, uh, who was our founder. And he was one of the inventors of the dual education model. This model was uh, designed to equip our students with the skills they needed to be competitive in the job market. And Steinbeis has been doing that for many, many years, as you can see. So we are not some new university that just popped up five years ago or whatever. We have been around for quite a long time. And this kind of heritage, this kind of experience really plays a big part when companies are deciding who to hire. The second thing that it's also very important is that we have something called the SMI Launchpad. The SMI Launchpad is a career readiness program. What is the difference between this career readiness program and career services that other universities offer? Well, other universities, when they offer career services, they usually say, they wait until you're about to graduate and then they say, hey, can you please send us your CV? We'll review it. We'll let you know if it's OK. We'll give you a few tips and off you go to find a job by yourself. Well, this is not enough. I mean, it's very important to have a German diploma, but you need to also have understanding of the German job market. And this understanding of the German job market, you will not acquire it in three months or in six months. You need a lot. Long, longer than, than that in order to understand how what companies require from you, what human resources departments are looking for, and how do they look for talent. And uh, we help you with that from day one. Our career readiness program, which is completely free of charge for all our students, starts on the same week that your studies start. That means that if you're doing a master degree with us, you will have two years to really understand how a German job market works how to look for a job in Germany, how to tailor your CV, your LinkedIn profile, your Sync profile, how to look in the German job search uh, 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 postings, which are not only LinkedIn. LinkedIn is only maybe one third of the, uh, has only maybe one third of the postings. And there are a lot of German job search boards that you need to use if you want to be successful here. So we'll teach you all that, we'll accompany you, we'll, you will have one-on-one -on -one coaching, and the important thing is this is from the beginning, free of charge, we go with you so that when you graduate two years later, you have the most advantage and the biggest opportunities. We also have the right programs in business and engineering. Why are we focusing on these two areas, business and engineering? Because we know these are the two areas where you can have find a job in an easier manner, even if you do not speak perfect German, right? A little German, helps always because you're in Germany in any case, right? But if you don't speak proper German, if you don't have a perfect uh, German language, you want to be working in a field that does not require it. That means that you don't want to be doing a master's degree in human resources because human resources requires perfect knowledge of German and requires also perfect knowledge of the German culture, right? So the programs that we offer in business and engineering are programs where you can find jobs even if you only speak English. So this is very important for us. Uh, we'll talk a little bit more in depth about the programs later on. All our programs are German state approved and FIBA accredited. This is extremely important. If you go to a university in Germany that is not accredited, that it doesn't give you programs uh, uh, that are officially uh, recognized by the German state, 
it means that you will probably will not be able to uh, have the 18 month working permit afterwards or you will not uh, the, nobody will recognize that kind of diplomas right so this we offer we also offer programs that are 100% english taught so you do not need any prior german knowledge to attend our programs this is very important right even if you have no knowledge of german you can still study with us in our programs like I said, a very practice oriented. So we use project-based learning. We have a, what we call the transfer projects, which are projects that you can transfer your knowledge to real companies, right? This is very important. And of course, our curriculum, our faculty, they're ready to give you the right skills to be successful in the job market. Being around for so long means that we have had the time to have several connections with uh, uh, several companies, right? We have over 200 industry partners. Uh, you can see here some of them. This is only a, a small selection of uh, companies we work with. Either these companies, they help us with uh, our professors because some of the professors are they work at these companies. Some of our alumni work at those companies and several projects that we do together, we do with them. Right? This is also an advantage for you once you graduate. And finally, we have something that is very interesting. It's not mandatory, but it's an option. And it also shows the kind of network that we have, right? We are very close to the SDA Bocconi, which is one of the top business schools in, in Europe. And this one is located in Milan, in Italy. We also have a very close connection to the NYU Stern, one of the top business schools worldwide. And we also uh, work with Pilot, which is a very interesting business school focus on entrepreneurship, they are located in Denmark. What we do with them is that every year we do some study trips with them. That means that you have the possibility, again, optional, it's uh, up to you. You have the possibility of going to Bocconi, to go to Stern, to go to Chaos Pilot. It costs extra, but it's, it's, uh, it's a worthwhile investment. It's not that much in any case because the programs are one to two weeks. Right, so you don't have to worry about getting an apartment in New York or getting a, something in Milan or whatever. It's a one to two week uh, travel experience where you have the opportunity to meet professors of these top business uh, schools, have classes with them, and at the end you also get a certificate which will also improve uh, your profile on LinkedIn, improve your, your CV definitely, and improve your international perspective. So this uh, shows that if we are connected with these top business schools, uh, you can already know uh, what kind of quality that Steinbeck SMI can offer. How does our study model work? And what about our programs? Well, we have a very innovative learning system, right? You will be studying face-to-face -face in our campus in Berlin, but at the same time, you have access to a digital, a digital campus. That means that you can also learn on your free time. You can learn some courses. You will also have some self-paced learning in some of those courses. You will all, always have direct connection to our professors because we have a relatively small uh, class, uh, class sizes, right? Uh, for example, our deans, our director of the Steinbeck SMI, he's always around. He takes very good care of the students. Uh, so if you have any questions, anything uh, that you want to ask, you can always uh, uh, contact them, right? And you will be at the campus. Uh, at least three days a week uh, so you will always be in contact with them that's all i think very important we we have something that we call the three i model and this three i model uh, it's a model that works on insights it means we get the uh, we are always searching for instant insights in terms of industry business companies what is happening right now based on those insights we innovate on our teaching format right and we are always looking to have impact, impact for your life, impact for your professional development, and also impact for society. And from these three eyes, we go into the three Ps because this impact, we believe it needs to be translated uh, not only to you in an individualistic manner, but it also has to be an impact that affects positively the planet, that creates prosperity for society, and then gives something back to the rest of the people. This is what we expect from our alumni, right? We don't want to have a very self-oriented people that are only think, are thinking about themselves. We want people that have a positive impact 
on a society that have a positive impact on their communities, on their family, and also on the planet. And we believe that the, uh, the study model that we offer uh, allows you to empower you to achieve that. What are the programs that, that we have? Where we focus mostly on master degree programs, right? So we have the, the first program that we have, which is a, a fantastic program that allows you to study, even if you have a bachelor in a different area, it's a master of science in business management, right? This bachelor of, this master of science in, in business management gives you an excellent grounding in journal management and also gives you a very comprehensive understanding of all the business topics that are happening today in the modern economy, right? This is designed especially for students who are recent graduates from the bachelor. It doesn't matter if you studied business, economy, marketing, communication, or even design, or even architecture. If you want to go into business, this is the best way for you to start, right? So the Master, the master of Science offers not only the business foundation, but it gives you the possibility to specialize yourself in five different areas. And from these five different areas, which you can see here, and then you can find out about more about these areas on Shiksha, or you can contact my colleague Seed about it, uh, I, I'm going to emphasize on two of them. Uh, the first one, which is the one that you see uh, actually in the last year, it's the data and business analytics specialization. This is a very interesting specialization for anyone who is interested in, interesting into numbers, into analytics, into statistics. Why is this so interesting? Right now, it's one of the hottest areas in Germany. Companies are desperate looking for talent for business analytics. They're desperate looking for talent for data analytics, and there are not enough people who know how to do this. So that's why we, had, we have this program. This is a program that gives you a very high chance of getting uh, well-paid jobs. And because it's mostly about numbers, you know, they will not care that much that if you don't speak German, they will focus more about whether you can actually use uh, all the data analysis and the business analysis and that you can grab all that information that a company has and transform it into insights that the business can use it, right? There's also something that the companies are finding is that sometimes they hire people with a mathematical background, finance background, uh, sorry, a physics background to do this. However, these people do not understand business. And the problem is that they do not understand how to make the right questions or how those insights transform into something that the business can apply it to. So that's why the combination of the business foundation plus the specialization of data and business analytics make you uniquely qualified to answer those questions to the companies, provide them the right insights, and that you yourself can also understand better what are the right questions to ask and what is the right, right data to analyze. Right? The second specialization that I would like to emphasize is the digital innovation and business transformation specialization, which is uh, also very much in demand here. We have a lot of companies that are big companies, but they're very traditional. They work in a very analog way, and they need people that can help them go into this uh, new era of digitalization that can transform their business. And again, here we have a shortage of talent, like our vice chancellor mentioned. We have a lot of, we're looking for a lot of talent here and we still don't have enough people. So that's why we're happy to have more international students joining these type of programs. So again, two year program, focus on business foundation. Plus you can choose from any of these five specializations. You can also choose a strategic marketing. You can also go into management and innovation or digital media and online management. So any of them will put you on the right career path uh, to join a German company. We also have an MBA. The MBA, it's a very modern MBA, and this is especially uh, for a different profile. This is especially for people that already have management experience. Here we're looking for candidates that have at least two years of management experience, that have had uh, already the possibility of leading teams, of leading projects, handling budgets, etc. This is a program that uh, where not only the value you get from what you learn and the type of professors that we have for the MBA, but also from mixing with the network that you make with your, with your colleagues at the, at the program. And that's why we're here, we're looking for people that can already add some value 
to the discussions and explain about the experiences they had working and how they face the challenges at, the, at their uh, present work, et cetera, right? This is, the MBA can be uh, taken by, by anyone uh, with a different background uh, other than business. So for example, if you study business, perfect. If you study economy, perfect. But also if you study architecture and you're leading a, an architecture company, or if you have other types of company, or you're an engineer and you, want, and you already have experience leading projects, but you want to go more into the uh, uh, MBA side, you're always welcome to, uh, to apply. Here, the main requirement is that we're looking for people, like I said, that already have management experience, right? Let me go into uh, two programs that are very important for us as well. The first one is the Master of Science in Engineering Industry 4.0. This Master of Science, uh, it's especially designed for people that have studied engineering or computer science, right? These are the two uh, type of uh, professionals that we can admit into the program. So if you're an engineer, it doesn't matter what kind of specialization you did. It can be me mechanical engineering, it can be telecommunications engineering, uh, any of them, you can apply to this program. And if you have studied computer science, if you studied software development, also more than welcome to apply, you will see that this program is the right for you. Due to the characteristics, of the German economy, engineers are in very, very high demand here in Germany, right? We require a lot of engineers. We require people that are, have the engineering mindset, but also understand the modern way of Industry 4.0, the Internet of Things, how systems interact with each other, etc. This is the program that gives you that kind of skills, right? So uh, as you can see here uh, with the course modules, you're gonna be learning about augmented virtual reality. You're gonna be learning about next generation robotics. You're gonna be learning about cybersecurity, smart factories, smart logistics. And you're gonna have the possibility also uh, to learn about uh, I, Internet of Things, internet technology, signal processing, sensors, software engineering, and mix it with some optional courses in agile project management, digital business models, and managing innovation. All these, a very good combination for those of you who are engineers or computer scientists. Finally, we have uh, this MBE program, which is a very special program. It's a Master of Business Engineering. This program is open for to engineers. It's open to computer scientists, software developers, or also anyone that has, has studied business management or business administration, right? This is a way to develop your expertise, both in technology and business at the same time. This is a program that requires one year work experience, right? It doesn't need to be a managerial work experience. So if you've been an engineering assistant, if you graduated a year ago and you've been working as a, a project assistant, if you've been working in, in business as a brand assistant, whatever, you're welcome to apply. Here you have combined very well what has made the economic success in Germany possible, which is the combination of technology and the combination of business. You will learn the basics of business foundations. You will learn the basics of engineering foundations, right? So things like strategic management or things like advanced digitalization will be part of your curriculum. And then after the learning those foundations, you can decide on one of the two uh, specializations that we offer. Either technology management, where you're focused on robotics, advanced internet technology, artificial intelligence, and production planning and smart factories. Or you can also go into the more, uh, a little bit more hardcore industry, internet of things specialization, where you're gonna be learning about advanced robotics, agile software development, in machine learning, smart applications, or something that it's very much up, uh, up to date right now, cyber physical production systems, right? This program is probably the program that offers the highest chance of uh, getting a job in Germany because it combines those two uh, very big branches and at a higher level, right? So if you already have some experience, like I said, if you already have at least one year work experience, if you're an engineer, if you're a business administrator, if you're a computer scientist, this program can also be for you. And like I said, it's one of the programs like uh, 
it's probably the cornerstone of economic success in Germany. What are the admission requirements? And uh, we can uh, uh, give you more information about it. You can all also find it on our website, right? Uh, the programs are completely taught in English, so we will need to see some uh, proof of English uh, proficiency. Uh, but we take most of the tests, including Duolingo, which you can do online. It takes only two days to get the results, so it's very quick. Uh, for the master degrees, we require at least a three-year bachelor program from an accredited university. So when you apply, you make sure to send us your degree and your transcript of records, and then we can tell you uh, if you can be accepted. And regarding work experience, uh, only the MBA requires two years of management experience, and the MBE, the Master of Business Engineering, requires one year of work experience, right? All other programs, Master of Business Management, Master of Science in Engineering, do not require work experience at all. What is the admission process? Well, the admission process, we try to do it very quickly. We're very speedy on that. We don't want to uh, waste your time. We don't want to waste our time. Uh, so as long as you have your documents ready, and the documents are really important, like I said, are your copy of your degree, copy of your transcript of records, and the proof of English, then you can do our online application, or you can apply through Shiksha. They will also do the online application for you, or you, will, you can do it directly. Uh, and as long as we have these documents, within 48 hours, we can already assess. And if everything is okay, then we will invite you to an admission interview. The admission interview can be done as quickly as within a week. So again, we review the documents, you get contacted by us, and, and then you have an admission interview where we want to see uh, if you can communicate properly with us, if you have clear ideas of why, why you want to come to Germany, why you want to study with us, why you want to why are you choosing the program that you're choosing, right? And uh, so for us, it's very important to understand your motivations to come here, right? Because we want students that are really motivated into study that they want to give their all to, to be successful. Because like we said, we help you turn your dreams into, into career success, but you also have to do your part, right? So we're looking for motivated students. We're looking for people who are serious about studying and they're willing to do the effort. And then very quickly, within one week, if everything goes okay, if the admission interview went okay, you will re receive an offer letter from us. This offer letter is the chance for you to make the initial deposit, which is an advance on the tuition fee that we have uh, uh, for the first semester. So this is a, a, a total of 4,500 euros, right? So this amount will be deducted from your tuition fee. It's not an extra fee, right? And once you pay that, you will be invited to a visa interview preparation. We will tell you, okay, this is what you need to have clear once you go uh, to the visa training, went, went to your visa appointment with the German embassy or the German consulate. And we will send you also the contract and you will sell you the letter of admission, which are the things you need uh, to get uh, your visa, right? The documents we already talked a little bit, we can, you can also ask our colleagues in Shiksha or contact us. And finally, the tuition fees, very briefly, but we can also talk about it in general. The Master of Science in Business Management costs 5,700 euros per semester. It's a four semester program. The MBA is 8,600 euros. It's a three semester program. And the Master of Science in, in Engineering or the Master of Business Engineering costs 6,450 euros per semester in total four semesters, okay? Uh, the programs are starting April. So April is, you can still apply, you can uh, are still on time to get the visa. And like I said, now it's the time to come to Germany, right? Otherwise, uh, the other big intake that we have is in October. Uh, you can also apply to that, but I would recommend if you have everything ready right now, better start right now because you make, uh, you can advance one semester in a quicker way. Uh, what else? Ah, very quickly, here's our campus. We're located by the river and the Spree River in a very nice district in Berlin called Charlottenburg. We're very close to Berlin Central Station, only 14 minutes away with bus. Every seven minutes, a bus goes from the Central Station towards our university. So uh, we're very well located. We're very, also nearby from very nice uh, uh, parks, the, the main park here, the Tiergarten, can do some sports, ride your bike, 
etc. You can also go around the river and uh, do some jogging if that's uh, what you want. Uh, so it's a very nice area and a very nice building and we would love to welcome you there. For contact, you can always write us to uh, student advisory, steinbeissmi.com, visit our website or contact us to our colleagues Shiksha. Uh, they will also be ready to help you with anything you need. And you can also join our social media channels. And now, after this very brief, very quick presentation, uh, it's time for your questions. So if you have any questions, both Sid and I will be happy to answer them to you. Thank you so much, Diego. And uh, we will start taking questions now. Meanwhile, student, if you want to ask questions directly, please click on the raise hand tab. I will unmute you and you can ask your questions directly. So I'm going to start with the questions. So the first question is regarding, uh, has been asked that if a student have a bachelor's background in computer, can they apply for the business and master program? Yes, definitely. They, they, they can, uh, if you have a bachelor in, com in computer science or computer technology, as long as it is from an uh, accredited university, you can apply both to the engineering programs or the, or the management programs. That's no problem. Okay. Next question has been asked by Ajit and the student has asked that, can I get admission without taking IELTS or TOEFL? Uh, not really. I mean, we want to see a proof of English proficiency. Right. On, unless uh, you have uh, gone to school, for example, to an IB school or something where you can really see that you say, hey, I have a native level of English and I'm able to uh, uh, to communicate properly. Then we will do we will check that during the admission interview. Right. We will do a couple of uh, interviews to check that. But we do prefer to have to count some proof of English proficiency. And what we would recommend in this case is to go with the Duolingo option because it's very quick, it's very cheap. Also, it costs I think forty-eight dollars only, forty-nine dollars, and uh, and then you get the, the answers right away. And that's a it. It will help you not only for our admission process, but for anything else that you need. Okay, I'll take a live question now. The student I'm going to unmute is Jaya Krishna. Jaya, please unmute yourself and ask your question. Jaya, please unmute yourself and ask your question. Okay, Jaya has asked her question in the chat box. I think there's some connectivity issue. She is asking that uh, the mechanical engineering program, is it available at the university? No, we do not have a mechanical engineering program. We have a master of science in engineering, which accepts, if you have studied a bachelor in mechanical engineering, you can do the master of science in engineering, or you can do the master in business engineering. But we do not offer a program in mechanical engineering. I have to say that mechanical engineering, it's a little bit running out of steam here in Germany. Uh, what's really now being demanded is people that understand how uh, this industry 4.0 works, which is Internet of Things, software development, etc. And if you studied mechanical engineering, then this you can turn into uh, you can learn about this with any of the two programs that we offer on our master degrees. But even Volkswagen uh, has been hiring uh, different companies to try to turn their mechanical engineers into more to make them learn more uh, how uh, software works, how the cyber physical uh, production system works, etc., to update them, right? So I would, if you if you have a bachelor in mechanical engineering, I would strongly suggest that you take one of the two master degrees that we offer. Uh, it will probably give you more uh, a much better uh, career opportunity afterwards. Okay. Moving to the next question, this is from Aryan, and he's saying that, uh, sir, I went to your website and I saw that there are three master's program. One is Master of uh, Science in Engineering uh, and Master of Business Engineering. So can you please explain the difference between these two programs? Yeah, uh, we talked a little bit about it some few minutes ago. The Master of Science in Engineering, it's 
uh, for engineers and computer scientists, right? And this is a master of science that it's focused on what it's called industry 4.0, right? Or 4.0, right? This is open to any, any candidate with a bachelor of engineering or computer science. It does not require any work experience. So if you're a recent graduate, you can access it, right? The master of business engineering, it's a program that combines management and technology. And it's open not only to engineers and computer scientists, but also to people that have studied business management and want to learn more about the engineering side. And the Master of Business Engineering also requires one year of work experience, right? So I would say if you already have some experience, if you want to go more into the management aspect of engineering, the MBE is the right uh, place for you to go. If you're a recent candidate, if you're, sorry, if you're a recent graduate that does not have any work experience, then the Master of Science in Engineering is the program for you. Okay, moving to the next question. This is from uh, Sri Varshini. And students ask that, do you have German language classes in the campus? A very good question. The answer is no, we do not offer German language ourselves. We offer German language classes through different partners. So that's in addition. You need to uh, uh, decide what kind of German language classes you would like to have, right? We used to have German classes directly, but the reality is that some people said, okay, I, I want to study online or I want to do it by myself, one-to-one. -one. Not everyone wanted to do a group class. So uh, in the end, uh, we didn't see a lot of people attending. So we decided to, hey, instead, we offer different options. You can either study by yourself uh, with a professor one-to-one, -one. you can study online, you can go to a group uh, class, but that's with a partner that said uh, you have to pay in addition. And there are some very uh, uh, cheap options. There are also some, some free options that you can choose. We will be happy to guide you to that, but it will not be given by the university directly. But there are a lot of options here in Berlin uh, where you can learn German. And even you can even start learning German, German before you come. Uh, we'll be happy to also guide you into how you can do this in a free way. Okay, moving to next question. This is from uh, Anu and the student has asked that, do we need to pay the complete fee in one go, even in online module? No, the answer is no, you do not need to pay the complete fee. What you need to pay is the deposit. The deposit is a 5,000 euro deposit uh, that includes 500 euro matriculation fee and 4,500 uh, euros in, as an advance on the first tuition fee, right? Uh, if you pay within two weeks the deposit, so after you are accepted, then you get a discount of 500. That means you will pay only 4,500, right? You pay per semester if you want. You can pay per year if you want, or you can pay the total program if you want right? But you do not have to pay the total program tuition fee at one. You can pay every semester uh, what you have to pay. Right? Okay, moving to next question. Uh, this has been asked by Vikas and he's saying that my brother have 5.5 band in IELTS and can he get the admission in the MSc? He has 73% in BSc and have three to four years of experience. He would need to improve his English level. Uh, in order to have a, a, a full admission, he needs at least 6.0 on IELTS, right? Or I would encourage him to try again. You know, maybe he wants to uh, learn a little bit uh, more or try the Duolingo, right? If he gets a 100 in Duolingo, then we can receive him. Right. But uh, we need 100 in Duolingo or 6.0 on IELTS. Okay. Uh, adding to this question, there's been a question asked by two, three students regarding if the Sorry. mode of education is in English, do we still need to give an English proficiency test? It, it depends, but yes, we'll, we like to see an English proficiency test unless you can uh, show in your documents that you have more than three years of English native level uh, studies. And that, that we will check through a couple of interviews, right? 
if that is checked, if you are, if you can uh, communicate properly, if you are able to understand everything we say, if you are able to transmit properly your ideas, then we can give you a waiver. But uh, initially, the best way is uh, get the proficiency English test because it will also help you when you're in Germany. You can show it, you can add it to your curriculum, and it doesn't cost that much, right? Again, you can do the Duolingo. Takes two days, costs forty nine dollars. You can also use it for the next two three years, no problem at all. And not only as a, uh, for our admission, but also when you're applying for jobs that you can show, hey, I am proficient in English, right? Okay. Moving to next question. This is uh, regarding the work experience requirement. So uh, the student is asking that how much the work experience matter if you're applying for the MSc program. For the Master of Science program, you do not need work experience, right? So even if you're a recent graduate, and even if it's even if it is the Master of Science in Business Management of the Master of Science in uh, in Engineering, you do not need work experience, right? So work experience is only required from you if you're applying for the MBA, so the Master in Business Administration. This master requires two years of management experience or the Master of Business Engineering, which requires one year of management experience. Okay, uh, next question. This is again a common question from students regarding the scholarship opportunities that are being provided by the university. Yes, that's a very good question. That's an, an advantage of uh, Steinbeis being part of the Steinbeis Foundation. We offer 25% scholarship uh, to the students that apply to us, right? We will decide on the scholarship at the same time on your admission. So you don't need to do an, an extra application or anything. Uh, we will check your grades. We will check your degree. We will do the admission interview. And once we have all that, then we will decide, hey, you have been granted 25% scholarship or 15% scholarship or whatever. So you will know that immediately in a very quick manner. You don't need to uh, do anything special and uh, we will be able to grant some type of scholarship uh, i can guarantee that for april if you're admitted you will get uh, uh, if as long as you're admitted uh, for april we're offering the 25 percent scholarship to all the students great uh, next question has been asked by raj and he's saying that uh, hello i have 11 years of work experience in research and development do you suggest that I should apply for the Master of Science in Business Management program, or shall I apply for the Business and Engine uh, MBE program? Well, uh, it's a bit different, right? I mean, if you have work experience, right, uh, I would suggest depending. I mean, you you mentioned that you're working research and development, but I don't know what your background is, what your bachelor is, right? So depending on your bachelor. I would suggest that you apply for the Master in Business Administration if you want to go into management, or the Master of Business Engineering if you want to go into something more related to engineering. So either of those two programs will be more according to your work experience, right? So those are programs for people that already have work experience. So I would recommend those two instead of the Master of Science. Okay, uh, next question uh, is asked by, uh asked by henna and the student is asking can you please explain about the job and career placements that are taken care by the university for the students yes so the first thing we do not get a job for you that's no university uh, does that right the, you need to get your job but we help you and what the, what is the huge difference here i mean we cannot do the interview for you or we cannot do the your cv for you that's something that you have to do right the advantage that we offer, and this is one of the points that I mentioned at the beginning of the presentation, we have the program called uh, the SMI Launchpad program. This is the career readiness program from day one. What does this mean? From the beginning of your studies, we explain to you how does the German job market work? What are the German uh, work contracts? What are the human resources department here in Germany looking for, right? Because you need to understand how German companies think. You need to sell yourself to those German companies. And we will support you all the way. We will tell you, hey, 
you need to put your in your LinkedIn profile, these are the key things that you need to write if you want to get a job in Germany. You need to open probably another profile in a social network called Zin, which is not known outside Germany, but it's a very important network for jobs in Germany, right? And it's written in German. So we'll help you with that. We'll, we'll help you with your CV. We'll help you with your cover letter, not in the traditional manner, but we will help you to adapt it to the German job market, which is where you want to work, right? And we will also tell you where to look for jobs because LinkedIn is not enough. You need to look, also look in other places where more traditional German companies that are very strong companies look for uh, talent, right? So we will accompany you with all that, but you still are the one that needs to do your CV. You still need to do your LinkedIn. You still need to get uh, 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 get the interview, right? And you need to attend and give a good uh, image of yourself, right? That's not something that uh, us or any other university can do for you. You are the one who is being hired. So you're the one that uh, needs to be liked by the company, right? But we will go with you. We will uh, take your hand from the beginning of the program until you graduate, right? And we will support you so you, that when you go there, you know how to present yourself motivated with the right in the right light that you say the right things that enthusiast that create enthusiasm on german companies and they say hey this is the person we want to have because he has the right motivation he has the right skills and this is the one that we need for our job right so we will uh, help you on all that of course all the uh, every every once in a while we get from companies they say hey we're searching for this type of candidates we'll share that also with you uh, and we will help you on on that ser job search process, but you also need to put on yourself and 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 you need to present yourself and do the work. Right, that's really important. Okay, moving to next question. This is asked by Amit, and the student has asked: Does the university pay quarantine charges like other country, other universities in other country? If no, how much do we need to pay extra for the quarantine? I'm I'm not sure what the question means because there's no quarantine charges. I don't know what that means. I don't know, Sid, if you know so about that. So basically, the student must be asking if a student is traveling for studies to Germany, and you, because of this pandemic time, the student may have to be in a uh, you know have to be in quarantine for a certain time. So does the university help giving them some charges, some money for the quarantine, or no, the student have to bear this don't, by? I don't by think more? that. I don't think that exists. See, you were recently in India. Did you have to quarantine yeah. when you came back now? Yeah, dear. can you hear me, Diego, now? Is it audible? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So no, no such thing has been followed now because also India is not uh, listed as a discrete zone. So whoever comes from India, if they show the vaccination certificate, they let us in, nothing else is needed. And even the quarantine, they ask us to make the in-home or self-quarantine. So we doesn't need to stay somewhere separately and stay there. So they ask us to take care and no charges or nothing. They ask us compulsory. Even if they provide okay. us a night certificate, it's enough. What you really need to have is you need to be vaccinated, right? Yes, because that's, that's you important. Need, you that need important. to have the vaccines in order to come to Germany and you need to have your vaccine certificate uh, up to date. But there are no quarantine charges or anything like that. So of course we don't pay for any of that because it doesn't Wait. exist. Yeah, one important thing may be in the vaccine certificate, they may need to mention their full name and the passport number. That is more importantly, they were checking when they're coming from India, uh, when they're entering Germany. So that is what they check uh, more importantly. Okay. Asadadan, uh, asking a follow up question on this. Uh, students are also asking that which vaccination is acceptable to travel in Germany? I think Covaxin is accepted in here, and you can also okay. check in the German. Let me see. Also, when you book on the flight, they will not let you. They will inform you earlier itself. The flights also they have the rules that if the person doesn't have this vaccine, they are not allowed to send the ticket to them. That's what happened to me, and also when they are booking. So uh, it will be mentioned. It may change recently, so it will mm -hmm. change. I would suggest them to update and check on the news for more clear information on that part. But for okay. sure, Pfizer, BioNTech, AstraZeneca, Johnson & Johnson, Moderna, those four are for sure. 
and then you mention also a uh, covaxin, co right? In, in, yeah, covaxin yeah. is mostly provided in India, Diego. So that's what in there. Yeah. Covaxin, Covishield is offered. I think covaxin okay. that is acceptable everywhere now. Okay. And in there, the private hospitals they are offering the whatever we are getting in here, the Pfizer and Moderna and Sputnik they are offering. But mostly covaxin is more mostly available to all the Indians. Okay. Very good point. Okay. Yeah. Great. Thank you so much, Sadarma. Uh, so that, uh, moving to the next question. This is from Sri Vasni, and the student is asking, just a minute. I have three years of experience in IT, and I am now more interested in finance. I started taking CFA classes. Am I eligible for MBA program in finance, or you suggest I go to uh, I go for MBE? Well, if you are interested in 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 finance, uh, then definitely go for the MBA, right? I mean, because that's where you have the chance to really go into that, right? Uh, we would happily check your your bachelor and your and your grades, and also your your experience, right? But because, like I mentioned, for the MBA, we require two years of management experience, so we would need to see those three years that you have as experience. Uh, have you handled projects? Have you handled budgets? Have you led people? If that is the case, then you can go for the uh, Master in Business Administration, right? If if that is not the case, uh, and for whatever reason you cannot not access the MBA, you have two other options. You can either go to for the Master of Science in Business Management, right? Which will also give you some foundations in finance, and then you can choose, uh, for example, with your background, I would probably recommend the, the specialization in data and business analytics, which will also be very interesting and helpful if you want to go into finance, or you can go do the a master in business engineering. So there are several options that you can use, MBA, master of, business, master of Business Management, or the MBE. We will be able to give you a more uh, straight and more accurate assessment and recommendation uh, if you can apply and send us your transcript of records your degree and also what kind of job experience uh, you have had in those three years okay uh taking the last question now so this is a question that i would like to ask is that if students are applying to the university how much time does the university take in replying back to students with the offer or any answer that you know to give them some update further that's a because universities good. have their timelines. Universities have their timelines yeah. that when they will get back to students. So this will help you know students also to know and plan accordingly. Yes, uh, that's a very good uh, question, and this is something that we take very seriously, and we are very quick. So if all, if you have all your documents, right? If you have your degree, if you have your transcript of records, and if you have your proof of English, you can apply now, and it will take us forty eight hours to get back at you and tell you everything is okay, you are now invited to the admission interview, or we can tell you, hey, sorry, with this you cannot be accepted, or we'll tell you, hey, we're missing this information, right? But within 48 hours, you will have an answer from our side. Once you, once you are invited to the admission interview, I think that once the admission interview is over, maximum the next day, you're receiving from our side the offer letter and the confirmation of admission. So we're very quick on that. And if you have everything ready, and if you are available for the admission interview, in one week, we can do the whole process. So we take this very seriously. It's not like a public university where you need to wait three months, four months, and nobody answers. You know, you will always hear back from us very quickly. OK. Diego, one more thing I wanted to you know, ask, uh, and that maybe students will, uh, are, are also asking. That when is the next in upcoming intake with the, for which students should apply now, and what yes. is the deadline for the up, uh, intakes? Yeah, uh, we have a rolling admission, so you can apply at any time. But the, uh, the next intake is April. We start on the 19th of April, so roughly three months from now. So now you can still apply for April. Uh, you can send us all your documents, and they will give you enough time to apply for the visa, right? Uh, basically, what you need to take into account, we don't have a, a specific deadline, right? Because, I mean, we, we can accept someone that is already in Germany, uh, like some students or people that don't, do not need a visa. If they apply maybe eight, eight days before the program starts, maybe we can already uh, accept them, right? 
And so we have a rolling ad, uh, admission process. However, the deadline, it's more because of the visa. So if you want to come in April, I suggest that you apply right now. Uh, you will still have time to do it. And the next uh, big intake will be done in October, right? So you can also, if you, if you are about to graduate in June, July, and you want to, you can only start in October, I would suggest also start now, start with time, uh, these things uh, work much better if you contact us as soon as possible and then we're able to provide you with all the answers and, uh, and, and all the advisory that you need, right? So just apply and then we can tell you very quickly, hey, you, you're still on time for April or let's wait for October, right? That's, uh, that's, uh, those are the two options. But uh, right now you can still uh, uh, make it for April, no problem. We're still receiving a lot of applications for April. so. We're happy to receive yours. And like I said, one thing that is very important, we're giving to everyone that starts in April a 25% scholarship. So as long as you're admitted, you're guaranteed the 25% scholarship. So uh, don't waste time. Now it's a moment. Okay. Thank you so much, Diago. Uh, and with this, we have come to the end of the session. And I would like to thank Diago for doing this wonderful presentation. This it, this was a very informative session, and I hope soon must have you know gained a lot of info, uh, knowledge from this session. So thank you, Diago, for you know joining us and doing this session. And also, I want to like to thank Sadhguru for you know joining us and helping um, in between with the questions. And um, students, uh, there if we have missed any of your questions don't worry your questions will be shared with the university and you will get reply on that plus you will also be contacted by the siksha counseling team who will further help you with your queries regarding your app admissions application scholarship whatever queries you have regarding uh, joining the university and further in case you would like to get in touch with someone from the university you can share that with the counseling team and they will be able to connect you with the university representative before okay. I end the session now, I would request Diego, if you can give some guidance to the students that can really help them, you know, when they are uh, uh, thinking of applying to uh, universities in Germany, because as you know, again, with this pandemic hitting again uh, to us, there are a lot of students again who are skeptical whether, you know, they should join, they should still wait for the next intake, intake or they should apply right now. So if you can give some, you know, um, wisdom to them, maybe that can really help. I can I can give you uh, one very good sentence uh, that it says the the key of getting ahead is getting started. So start with your application now. As the sooner the better, right? Because as I have shared with you, Germany is in dire need for talent. The, uh, our vice chancellor said we need right now three hundred thousand more talented workers in Germany, and in the next months we will need one million. So the sooner you come here, the better for you to read the benefits. The April intake will be conducted face-to-face -face on our Berlin campus. So don't lose time. The key of getting ahead is getting started. So start now. Apply through Shiksha. They're ready to help you. We're also here for you. So any questions, just contact us. We will be super happy to answer them and to provide you any assistance you need so that you can turn your dreams into career success in Germany. Thank you so much, Tiago. And with this, I now end the session and I hope that everyone is safe and take care of yourself and have a great day ahead, Tiago and Siddhartha there in Germany. Thanks and so everyone. good evening, everyone here in India. Thank you. Thank you, Elijah. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye-bye.